my name is Majd, hope you're doing well, and today we have both Ethereum and Cardano, my two largest altcoin positions, setting new all-time highs, and overall the market is looking super bullish and exciting. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Cardano chart, and I'm going to be giving you my price targets both to the up and downside, and I'm also going to be talking about why I think that an absolutely massive altcoin season is just around the corner, and why these moves from Cardano and Ethereum are just the start of something much larger. If you guys enjoy this video, then make sure to hit that like button, also hit subscribe if you haven't done so already, and with that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into the video. So taking a look at coin market cap, you can see Bitcoin's back at around $57,000, up just over 7% on the week and down almost 1% on the day. Um, overall, Bitcoin's basically trading sideways and is quite boring. And honestly, this is a very, very good thing for the altcoins. And this is kind of what we need if we want to see a massive altcoin rally. So I'm definitely not complaining that Bitcoin is um, trading at around $57,000 and is being very boring. We also have Ethereum uh, back over $3,500, sitting at $3,500. 42 up 30 percent in the past seven days now the reason why that's absolutely insane is because ethereum isn't just any small cap altcoin it's an altcoin with 400 billion dollars so for it to move 30 percent in a week is absolutely insane and uh honestly just proves that the volatility in the crypto space has definitely not went anywhere for uh for the second largest cryptocurrency to move over 30 percent in a week that is just absolutely insane. And we also have BNB doing pretty well in general, kind of trading sideways. It's up 10% uh, on the week and down about 2% on the day. Uh, BNB has absolutely been killing it for the past few months. So um, it's okay if it just has like a cool down period now, kind of like what ADA did. We also have Dogecoin up almost 100% on the week in anticipation of Elon Musk hosting SNL. We also have Cardano up 13% on the day and 25% on the week. So I think it's up the most in the top 10, excluding Bitcoin Cash. And uh, ADA, along with Ethereum, has set a new all-time high today as well, which is pretty exciting. So taking a look at the Ethereum chart, this is the daily. I just want to show you guys how absolutely insane Ethereum has been. So uh, again, if we just start over here, this was April 26th. We have one new all-time high, two all-time highs, three, four. Uh, this is not an all-time high over here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten new all-time highs basically in the past 11 days. So 10 of the past 11 days have been new all-time highs for Ethereum. And uh, Ethereum is absolutely killing it. So taking a look at the ADA chart, you can see this daily candle has been absolutely massive. And this might be the first daily candle that closes completely outside of this upper resistance at $1.50. So you can see the candle opened at $1.48. And right now it's sitting at $1.63. And you can see we actually went all the way up to $1.00. Uh, 69 cents on the high on the day. Now, let's talk about downside because I think uh, downside is very real and there's always potential for downside. So the first target would obviously be $1.50. That's been a major area of resistance. So if we were to see a uh, short-term correction, we could see $1.50 being retested. And if that doesn't uh, hold as support, I think $1.34 has been an incredibly strong area of resistance. You can see it's basically been holding us down uh, for over a week here. And uh, once we broke past $1.34, we had a massive rally to the upside. So in terms of downside support, I think $1.34 is incredibly strong. And uh, again, the immediate downside support is $1.50. Now we might not see Cardano come and retest this ascending triangle, but that actually happens really, really often in crypto where we make a move outside of a, a, a pattern and come back down to retest it. So $1.50 is definitely something to be looking out for. Now, in terms of upside targets, I've been saying $1.80 is my target for basically the past month and a half or even more. And uh, I think that $1.80 is definitely possible in the short term. And in terms of the upside target from this ascending triangle, so this is just a measured move here, uh, actually taken from here. And if we just bring this over here, you can see that we could potentially see a $2.12 uh, breakout from this ascending triangle that we've been tracking for so long. So that's pretty exciting. Now, another crazy thing here on the ADA chart, you can see from the lows here to where we currently are right now, that is a 77% move. So literally just from a few days ago, Cardano's price has 
uh, almost doubled, which is absolutely insane. So before we get to the rest of the video where I talk about why I think altcoins are about to absolutely explode, I do want to take some time to talk about the sponsor of this video, Ada Zul Pool. So this is a Brazil staking pool, which is currently offering around 5% returns on your Ada, which is pretty good. Um, that is at the time of recording. And the really nice thing about this pool, why I like it so much, is because they are committed to giving 30% of all the profits generated from the stake pool to non-profit organizations to save endangered animals. So basically you can stake your ADA, earn rewards on it, and at the same time help endangered animals. So this is a pool with a very good cause. And honestly, I, I really think that pools with a cause behind them with some kind of charity or some kind of positive intention are the best pools to be delegating your Cardano to because not only can you earn rewards on it, but also you are uh, you know, helping a good cause. So you can see they were also featured on Cointelegraph on April 3rd of 2021. And uh, basically this article is talking about how the stake pool basically buried a time capsule with an article as well as with a paper wallet that had some ADA on it. And that time capsule will be opened in 50 years. So that's really, really interesting. They also do giveaways to the people that stake in their pool. So if you just sign up to their website, you can see this beautiful looking dashboard with a bunch of informations, their donations, as well as the giveaways that they are doing. So I'll leave a link to their website as well as all their socials and the ticker symbol of the pool down in the description below so you guys can check them out. So now for the last part of the video, I want to get into why I think altcoin season is basically just starting and why a massive altcoin move basically all across the board is coming up and why I really do believe that's the case. So the first reason as to why I'm saying this is because Bitcoin is moving sideways and that is kind of required for a massive altcoin season. If Bitcoin's absolutely exploding and setting new all time highs, then all the attention is on Bitcoin and altcoins don't really have the space they need to make massive moves. However, you can see over the past few months, Bitcoin has basically been trading sideways and uh, it hasn't been really making giant moves to the upside or the downside in the short term. So this is one reason as to why I think altcoins basically are now given the space and the room they need to make massive moves. Uh, the next thing is Bitcoin dominance. You can see Bitcoin dominance is continuing to literally crash and uh, Bitcoin dominance ba is basically the percentage of the market that Bitcoin holds. So right now it's at 45%, meaning 45% of all the money in the crypto industry is in Bitcoin. And this value is continuing to crash, which means a lot of the money or at least the distribution from Bitcoin is shifting over into the altcoins. And uh, this, of course, causes the price of the altcoins to absolutely explode. And you can see there's still so much room to go in terms of downside for Bitcoin dominance. The lows of the previous bull run were 35 percent. And I do think that we will likely be getting near these levels during this bull run, uh, which will obviously spark a massive altcoin rally. And you can see just the this chart alone basically is screaming altcoin season. Uh, the next thing is basically the total altcoin market cap. So this is the total crypto market cap excluding Bitcoin. And I'm just going to put it on the log scale here. It's a lot easier to see. And you can see this chart is in a massive uh, uptrend, a massive trend to the upside and is basically setting new all time highs almost every single day. And so a massive trend like this is likely going to continue. And uh, this basically is also screaming massive altcoin season. And right now it's at 1.28 trillion. I definitely think that we could see a five trillion dollar altcoin market and potentially even this is again really high end a 10 trillion dollar altcoin market. I think that's not impossible. Uh, you know, there's a lot of really crazy revolutionary product. So a $10 trillion valuation for all of these projects and companies is definitely not unreasonable. And finally, the last reason as to why I think a massive altcoin season is literally right around the corner. And we're kind of already starting it and kicking it off with Ethereum and Cardano here. Um, but basically, it's because Ethereum is doing really well. And Ethereum is basically the face, the head of all the altcoins. And the fact that Ethereum is basically setting new all time highs every single day is again screaming altcoin season. Same thing with Cardano. Cardano is another massive alt and basically all the top alts are doing really, really well. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.